One shot, one opportunity. Seize everything you ever wanted. One moment, did you capture? Just let it slip. Yo, his palms are sweaty, knees weak. Hey guys, Imp here. Uh, this is going to be a video on how to, or how your airsoft gun actually works. So first off, you have your battery. Uh, this happens to be an 8.4. Don't really use it. Um, so that is connected to these two, the negative and the positive. I uh, don't have a fuse on here right now, but yeah. And then your motor, this part. I opened up the gearbox because I was working on it, and I just figured I might want to make this video. Um, so that sit actually sits in there, and it's connected to these two wires. So when you pull the trigger, these two thing, these two metal pieces right here, they're called contacts. They actually touch and carry the current from the battery to here, which spins those magnets in the motor uh, wrapped in coil. So um, you were in that in school if you're in like a uh, physical science or something. So uh, this is called the pinion gear. This touches or turns the bevel gear, which is this one. Take this out. Uh, bevel gear. Uh, this is the anti-reversal latch right here. And then here's the spur gear, and the bevel gear turns this, which turns the sector gear, which is this, which pu pulls the uh, the piston. It moves the piston. Normally the piston would be back here, but I have the spring in here to show you. And then, so, I'm going to skip part right now. This is the spring guide, which, uh, it guides the spring to not, like, bend as much and stuff. And some of them are plastic, which is really bad. Some have ball bearings in, uh, where my index finger is, which make it a lot more reliable. And then here's the spring. This is where you get all the power from in your gun. So the, he the harder the spring is, like, the more tough it is to move the higher FPS you'll get and then here's the piston let me move this back and then as you can see when you turn this gear the gears should line up I actually unwind them so it'll move the piston hard to see but it'll move the piston I gotta fix this this is one of the problems that why I opened it up but it will move the piston forward compressing all that air into the cylinder which is this part right here this is a port so if you have a the bigger the port the left the less FPS and if it's like a if it has no port then it'll be higher FPS because you're not losing any compression and uh, just in case you're working on your gun, always have the port facing towards the back because you want the most compression right here. And then I'll take the piston out to show you. This is this is a POM piston polymer, which shows it's not that good, but whatever. Um, this isn't this is the gun I'm building. This isn't this is just gonna be a, a loner gun. If one of my friends wants to play and he doesn't have a gun, um, so this is a piston head slams into the cylinder head which is this part and this is the air nozzle so all that air gets compressed into this little area and then it shoots this part actually goes into the hop up that and then it shoots the BB that and then that's what like uh, makes the BB go so there's many different little parts that I haven't gone over um, like the anti-reversal latch and stuff, but this is the basics on how your airsoft gun works. All airsoft guns basically work the same, or all AEG airsoft guns work the same. Gas guns, polar stars will work different. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go over some more parts. This is the tappet plate, uh, anti-reversal latch, I said that. Um, and there's lots of little springs in here. This is your whole trigger assembly kind of thing. So when you push pull the trigger it 
uh, touches these contacts, which carries a current and stuff. So, um, lots of little moving parts, and that's one disadvantage of the AEG. And um, one advantage of the Polar Stars is that they only have two. Whereas you can see, this probably has upwards of 10 or more moving parts, probably more. Actually, probably a lot more. Um, so, yeah, this happens to be a classic army gearbox. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and we'll answer them. So, thanks for watching, and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.